Let me start by briefly explaining what is a certificate. Ever noticed when you go to a website, there's a small lock icon right next to the website's URL? This means that the communication between you and this website is secure. In addition to it being secure, it is also verified by a certificate which is provided by an official certificate authority. In Microsoft Edge, you can see the certificate details by clicking the lock icon, then clicking here, and then clicking the certificate icon right here. The certificate date, located here, shows the validity of the certificate. The details tab has some technical information and the certificate path tab shows who issued this certificate and the domains this certificate covers. The same information is available in any browser. For example, you can see it in Google Chrome by clicking the lock icon, then clicking here, verifying that the certificate is valid here, and clicking it to see the same information as shown previously. Please subscribe. Getting an official certificate for a website is not free. You might need a certificate to secure an internal company website and would rather not to purchase an official certificate. In that case, you can assign a self-signed certificate to yourself. This certificate will arguably have the same security as an official certificate, but will present the user warnings indicating that the certificate is not valid since it has not been provided by an official certificate authority. Skipping these warnings will allow the user to enter the internal company website signed using a self-signed certificate. Creating a self-signed certificate is very easy and only takes a moment. On your web server, open Server Manager, click Tools and click Internet Information Services. Click the server here and then double-click Server Certificates. A list of already installed certificates on the server will appear here. As you can see in my case, I have no certificates on this server. Click the option to create a self-signed certificate here, give it a friendly name, choose the appropriate option here, and click OK. This will add the newly created certificate to the list. Note that it is valid for one year. If you didn't know it before, now you know how to create a self-signed certificate. If you want to know more about these things, you should watch this video next.